Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome back to another Making Stuff video. Today I'm going to show you how I built these tow hooks for my 2016 Ram pickup truck. And yes, I know you can go on Amazon and buy these for about the same price as what it cost me to make them. But I'll guarantee you the ones you get on Amazon aren't going to be as heavy duty as the ones I'm going to build today. And this is going to be a short video and it's a little bit different from what I normally make. But while I was making it, I realized that I was pushing my tools to their limits and I figured this might be something that you guys would be interested in seeing. So if you're interested in that, I'll have more details at the end of the video. So enough talk, let's head on over here and start making these things. Okay, so here is the third plate and it cut it quite nicely. I'm very happy with these results. And let's check it for square with the first one here. And it is definitely square with the first one. So I think I have my two plates that I need for my tow hooks. Don't forget, you can save 10% off your first order at empireabrasives.com. Just use the promo code MAKINGSTUFF. Check out the link in the description to get started. So I'm very happy with the results and the tow hooks look great on the truck. They are super heavy duty and they will probably last longer than the truck itself. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I was pushing the limits on all of my tools and we'll start off with that Hypertherm plasma cutter that is on the CNC plasma. It says in the manual, I believe it'll go up to 5 eighths, uh, maybe a half inch is the limit. 
But when you get up to a half inch, I do know that it says you have to edge pierce uh, your steel. You can't just start in the middle, pierce a hole, and start cutting. And that is one of the reasons why I started on this outside edge on all of those cuts because I had to edge pierce. So what I did is I just started on the outside edge, did a lead in, and then it went around and did the cut. And that hypertherm plasma cutter, the fans on that thing were running at warp nine, but it still got the job done even though I was pushing the limits of what it could do. Next on the limit list was the bandsaw. I don't know if you saw it in the video, but I did break a blade and here's the blade that broke and it broke while I was cutting that inch and a quarter thick steel and it's pretty much a brand new blade I don't know if you can see that but the teeth look really really good on this blade so yeah we hit the limits of this blade next on the limit list is the mag cutter I did have to drill some 15 16 holes through inch and a quarter steel and I didn't realize this, but my annular cutters had a maximum one inch cutting depth and they just wouldn't go all the way through that piece of steel. So I had to order a two inch 15 16 annular cutter and that did finally get the job done. And here is the core out of one of those cuts. So you can see it was going through some pretty thick stuff, but once I got the right cutter on there, it was able to finish the job. And finally on the limit list is the Lincoln 210 MP welder. Now if you go with the automatic settings on the machine, the thickest metal it will go up to is 5 16 of an inch. And I'm welding a inch and a quarter bar on half inch plate. So I had to push the limits of the machine. I had to go with 035 wire. I had to use the 220 volt plug and I had to manually set the voltage up as high as it would go. I did do a test weld first and I welded a test piece of that metal onto some half inch plate and then I cut it, did an acid etch so I could see what type of penetration I was getting on that weld and I was really happy with the results. So even though I was pushing the limits of the machine, it was still able to get the job done. So what kind of accessory would you make for your truck or have you made for your truck? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.